Everything is in perfect order this week on At Your Leisure. Rhea and I are joining our friends from Orderville to discover some of the writing opportunities from this quaint pioneer town. Then the AYL crew is off to look at one of the most controversial off-road riding areas in Utah's history. Follow along as we find out what fun you can have in Caneville. Finally, with water levels reaching record-breaking lows at Lake Powell, the lake is revealing a plethora of new mysteries to be discovered. It's all headed your way right now at your leisure, isn't it? You know, Rhea, God really did bless Utah with the best scenery. I know, he, he truly did, and I thank you for that, God, mm -hmm. but I think he may have forgot about like Oklahoma and Nebraska. Oh, don't say that, we have fans that watch in Nebraska. <laughs> no, that's all good, but if they were standing here, they would say the same thing. They probably. There's good people there, they just don't have this view. <laughs> yeah, welcome to At Your Leisure, I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth, and we're in Kane County, hanging out with our wonderful friends uh, in Orderville, which is the cutest town ever. Yes. With the coolest people ever. Ever. Yeah. That's right. And, and they're taking us out today. Right, we're at a place called the Beehives, and they're kind of some hoodoo sandstone formations. And the, their backdrop is high on a mountainside overlooking these vast low valleys. Yeah. And you feel like John Wayne standing up here. Oh my gosh, it's magnificent up here. It didn't take us long to get up here from, from Orderville. You know, if John Ford had known about this spot, he wouldn't have had Chisholm, uh, the opening scene of Chisholm where it was. It would have been right here between these rocks. Right on. So hang tight with us and we're gonna talk to the locals about why it's so cool to rec recreate out here. And we'll tell you about this trail. We came up on the Mokeef today. We left from Mount Carmel Junction, which is by Orderville. And the riding up here is just amazing. The, the views and a little bit of technical, not too much, just enough for everybody. We've been coming down to Mount Carmel in the area for over 20 years. And so this is kind of our Disneyland in a way. So, so we don't, it doesn't take much inspiring to get us to come to Mount Carmel. The trails themselves are just fun. They're sandy, a little bit of rock. Uh, and you're gonna climb about 8,000 feet to come up here on the Mokeef. We've been on that ride several times, but one of our favorite parts is the, the drive down into Hell Dive. And to be honest with you, the technical areas. You, you can stay here a week and do a different trail every day. You know what I love about riding out of Orderville in this area of King County? I don't what you're gonna say. You do? Yeah. Okay, well, every 15 minutes at most, this terrain changes completely. It does, it's beautiful. And the sand is so soft and forgiving and it's just, it's a beautiful ride. She says it's always like riding on velvet when she's out here. Yeah, I love it. You don't get bumped around. So the dunes are a great part of this. As you can see, they're a lot of fun, but you gotta be really safe out here. Mm -hmm. And remember, generally, it's safe traveling to the south because that's the way the dunes are flat or sloped. Dangerous going to the north because that's where the drop off are because of the way the wind blows. Right, and unfortunately there there has been a couple deaths up here in on the dunes because it was just one of those things where you just had to really pay attention to that awareness thing, you know. Yeah. You're coming over a hill and then you didn't know it was sixty foot. Well yeah, I mean like off. right right behind us this looks relatively flat, yeah. but about sixty feet out it drops sixty feet straight down. Yeah. Well it's beautiful and it's fun and you should all come out here. Just be aware of your surroundings. Don't want to scare you. Right but be safe. Now let's be on our way to our where to. Hanksville, Utah is the easternmost hamlet in Wayne County. The town itself has a small footprint, but it packs a big punch of history, scenery, and character. For those looking for excitement, Hanksville is minutes away from the world famous Swing Arm City. And if you're in search of remote mountain or desert landscapes, you're certain to find those here as well. People are looking for those quiet places. They're looking for some sort of a, a reprieve from society. They're looking for a place that they can just, in some instances, heal. In other instances, just, just 
have some quiet and settle the noise that's in their head. And so out here, still so many wide open spaces, so much to do, but unmarked. So you have to do the work, you have to work for it if you're gonna find it. And so the people who are still looking for those types of experiences, they can find that here. Don't be afraid to explore the trails. You know, just, I know it's a lot to choose from. Usually what I do, I just pick a direction and go, see where it takes you. We just started just pretty much right in town. And then there's Sand Trail, you just take to the Red Hills right behind town. And, and it just eventually just takes you anywhere. Everywhere you look, the area tells not only an epic geological story, but also reveals a rich human history as well. What I like about this area is there's a variety of terrain to go through and also the variety is very unique. Of course you're limited to the trails and stuff that you can go on but there's also recreation areas where you can go wherever you want. The speed that they cover the ground in you can go from the Henry Mountains down into down to the Dirty Devil River and here at Mars in one day. You heard that right, Mars. The stark beauty and seclusion of Hanksville are what locals and newcomers both cherish about the area. You have to really love Hanksville to live here because it's hard being far away from everything, but um, it's just the small town feel and lots of pretty places and it's just peaceful here. My husband and I moved down here from Salt Lake City last year and opened up a burrito margarita shack called the Outlaw's Roost. It was time to find someplace else, so we started exploring more of Cathedral Valley and uh, this area, and that's kind of how we ended up over here. We kind of are just making good whole foods, but more so trying to give uh, people, our customers, an experience. So a place that they can sit down, rest, recover, use some Wi-Fi, figure out where their next adventure is going to be or how to get to the next spot safely, and uh, the opportunity for us to be a part of that experience has been very rewarding for us. And it will be rewarding for visitors to Hanksville as well. Along the San Rafael Swell, I'm Stephen Human for this week's Where To. Hey everybody, welcome back to At Your Leisure. I'm Scott Huntsman. I'm here at my two next shop in West Valley City. This is what's new this week. What's new is this beautiful 2020 Ram 3500 truck that belongs to my very fine son-in-law, Brandon. Now Brandon and his wife, Brittany, just picked this up not long ago to tow their fifth wheel trailer. Right now, this sits at about 39 and a half inches. This BDS suspension system is gonna bring it up. We're gonna lift it up about three inches. Let's get started with this. Brad's gonna get his hands dirty along with me. All right, guys, we got all the components of this BDS suspension laid out. I'm really impressed with the construction quality thus far and the coating. The radius arms are robust. 3 16 plate DOM tubing. We've got an adjustable front track bar. We've got U-bolts, blocks, hardware, springs, and these Fox shocks these fuel Maverick wheels, they're gonna look fantastic. And the Toyo Open Country tires, well, they're gonna do the job off-road. So next step, truck inside, we're tearing into it. All right, guys, so we started at the rear of the truck. We lowered the rear axle housing to put the blocks in. Now, one thing I wanna note, the blocks were two inches. Even though we call this a three-inch kit, we're gonna lift the rear two inches and we're lifting the front three. Reason for that is the Ram trucks always sit rear high. So we're bringing the front end higher to match the rear. So it's a lift and level. At any rate, we replaced the aluminum pin from the plastic pin that came from the factory for the block. And then new U-bolts, new hardware. We have the shocks installed and we rerouted the park brake cable to make up for that extra two inches of lift there. Okay guys, we're in the middle of doing the front. So with the front, we removed one of the radius arms. The replacement versus the stock one, which made out of pressed metal. 
The replacement is good and heavy, but has additional caster angle built into it to make up for the droop that's going to take place with the front axle. If we droop the front axle, we have to correct the caster. We also have new sway bar end links. They're a much better quality, and we get the lift from the spring. All right, guys, hey, we're moving along really well. Brandon and I have made great progress. The radius arms are installed, the Fox shocks, the springs. We have the sway bar links, we've greased them. We're gonna get it set down so we can do the final torque on all the bolts on this. That's when we wanna do that. And then it's off to alignment. So let's get her finished up. All right, guys, project complete. We're fresh off alignment. This thing turned out good. It drives as good as it looks. And hey, check it out. 44 and a quarter inches. We did pretty darn good here. We got an inch and a half of lift off the tire and we got three more inches from the lift kit itself. So it turned out wonderful. They'll be ready to pull their trailer and have a good time with this. Now, the only thing I can say negative, I had to get one rivet that was damaged out of the box for an emblem. I think I could deal with that. Hey, if you want one of these systems, come and see us here at Tunex, West Valley, South Jordan, any of them. We sell and install alignments, front end work, everything. I'm Scott Huntsman, more at your leisure in a moment. Rhea, it looks like a community kitchen for the Anasazi. Yes, I, totally. You know, you can see see them all sitting there, you know, grinding their corn and, and oh, milling yeah. it. And yeah. this is phenomenal. Seriously, yeah. where can you find this? Nowhere. Oh, we're right here. Welcome back to At Your yeah. Leisure. We have brought you to a place called, uh, what is it called? It's uh, Well, it was it's, like Hell's Dive or Hell's something. Di yes. Hell Dive. And it was quite an obstacle to get down here. Yeah, if you actually saw a, a picture of us <laughs> trying to come down from the, maybe a city block from where we parked, it is uh, hell dive. Yeah. It's just, yeah. but fortunately, God planted a lot of trees mm -hmm. that you can use as handholds right as you make your way down. Yeah, and I used them too. <laughs> but uh, this is really cool. There's petroglyphs everywhere. Um, there's a lot of An Anasazi art. Uh, on the on the walls here, like little baby feet, like this big in like blue and green and red colors. Yeah, the, I can't believe it. Well, it's it's very well preserved in here because it hasn't gotten rain because it's in an alcove and it doesn't face the sun, so there's never sun in here That's during the day. That's probably why they're so prominent. Uh, but I take issue with that point that they're baby feet. We don't know. They tell us that the Anasazis were small people. They were not, uh, honey, yeah. if they were, the, if, if they had feet this big, that means they were like this big. And I don't yeah. think that's possible. No, you, you know, you, Moki, come here. <laughs> boom, in the in the ink and boom, there we go. There's the footprint. You, you know, know what? I'm not buying it, you should be selling it. <laughs> don't believe that kids and big people too. <laughs> this is this is such a nice sheltered area. I could literally camp here. Oh, it's beautiful. Except that getting here is kind of a problem. Mm -hmm. So let's maybe consider an option to look around to Orderville and find out how that is as a, as a base for your adventure. Even if you don't have access to an ATV, there's the hiking trails are so close right there in Orderville. People hike in there all the time. ATVs, you can actually leave Orderville and go north or south, and 10 minutes, you're in the backcountry. We've got a super good hardware store and a grocery store. If they need anything for their trailers, Terry's stocks all the stuff for the camping trailers, and all the food that you're gonna need is right there in Orderville. Five miles down the road is Mount Carmel Junction is where the Thunderbird Best Western is. We do have camping grounds at Mount Carmel Junction and Mount Carmel. Orderville itself has got like 150 Airbnbs. So there's plenty of places to stay. Orderville may well be the beginning of your trail to adventure, but when you get to Water Canyon, it is definitely the end of the trail. Right here. <laughs> yeah. Do yeah. not do not go beyond here. That's right. It's a spectacular view. Um, this is just it's just one beautiful uh, iconic scenery after another when you're turning around. And, it's amazing. And you know the the thing is this is kind of Grand Canyon esque. Oh yeah. But in the Kanab area, the Orderville area down here in Kane County, it has its own look. Right. This is totally different than that other stuff. Mm-hmm. 
it's just fabulous greenery everywhere it's gorgeous uh, we've got more so hang out with us and we're going off to our along the way The out-of-this-world beauty of Lake Powell has been attracting admirers for almost half a century. But now, with low water levels, the changing landscape is an explorer's dream come true. Today, October 27th, is Lake Powell's birthday. She is 49 years old today. In 1972, Congress got together and they took this land and they set it aside as a national recreation area. And today we're going to go out there and check it out. With many unique rock formations that were previously submerged, photographers like Cameron Knudsen are finding limitless possibilities for their art. Well, this canyon and this whole region is just beautiful. The red rocks down here, in comparison with the blue skies, just create the most dramatic contrast. And you mix in the calm, clear waters of Lake Powell with the reflections, you're gonna get unparalleled shots that you'll never find anywhere else in the world. And the wonders don't end at the lake's surface. In deep water, sandy flats, and rocky canyons, there are different and interesting species of fish found in these diverse habitats. In fact, you never really know what spectacular surprises the twists and turns of Lake Powell might hold. So we were out in Cathedral and cruising through the canyon, got the beautiful clear water, perfect reflections on the rock face. And we come around a corner and right there to our left is a group of um, bighorn sheep right on the edge. And then magically you got this monster show up right on the ridge line, the sky behind him just chasing those females around. Perfect time, you can't beat it. Oh, it's it's undescribable that moment because you know you just captured a moment in time that's never going to exist again. These are once in a lifetime opportunities and with the water where it is now and the lake the way it is, you could see things that nobody's ever seen before and chances are might never see again. So don't miss out. These experiences are of course temporal and it makes one want to savor every moment of the lake in Glen Canyon as it is now. After all, who knows what conditions will be in the future. If you look up, you can see in this canyon all the white. That was where the water level was. And then the sediment filled in to this slot canyon over, the, over time. Uh, we had some really unique uh, weather patterns over uh, the monsoon season and it washed the sand out. With the uncertainty and changes happening at Lake Powell, there's no time like the present to get out there and make the most of it. With this week's Along the Way, I'm Terry Wood. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We've been uh, on our Orderville adventure today and you can't come down to this area without stopping at the Thunderbird. Oh, it is the most iconic, cool place. Uh, the people that work here, it's family owned, they're fantastic and they, they run this whole block basically and it rocks over here. I didn't know this, but Ed's grandparents mm -hmm. homesteaded this. Oh my gosh. They migrated down from northern Utah and they wow. came down here as newlyweds and homesteaded this oh, whole place. That's why this place is so cool and it's got such a great verb. I love it. Okay, better yet, the model? Yeah. That's his grandmother. <laughs> oh, no. Yes. No. Yes. Oh man, are you kidding me? That's good genetics right and, there. And that lady knew how to make pies because they're still making them today and we're going to go in and get some. <laughs> 
why don't you check out what's on next week's show? Next week, it's Thanksgiving, and the AYL crew is celebrating in our wonderful state parks as we gather around for some delicious food and some great fun. Then our Where To Compass points to Wayne County as we go outside of Loa to discover the beauties of the Tidwell Slopes. Finally, Reese Stein is showing us how the guys at DWR are giving a periodic health check up on the fish in the lower section of the Provo River. Now let's take a look at our contest winner. This week's contest winner was spotted on the trail this week and is license plate number X32XK. And it looks like they are the lucky winner of a $400 gift certificate to Tunex. So weak. Tunex offers great upgrades and repairs for all your motorized needs. Visit tunex.com for more details. Congratulations and be sure to call us on Monday at 801-947-8888 to claim your prize. Well, next week's show looks fantastic, and I don't know how it's going to beat this day, but it's going to be good. Or the pie. Oh. We've been teasing you all, all night long this about is. the pie. We are at the Thunderbird for a little piece of pie. I got the uh, I got the Thunderberry. Now, these are a very rare berry. Well, most people don't know that they exist. <laughs> they grow only down here, so you're going to have to come try it. That's right, and I got the apple pie with the rum sauce on it, right? Is it rum sauce, you guys? Yeah. I was considering having this, but I have to drive home. And you, right, but you know what is awesome? That they have, um, their coffee is really good coffee. You know when you go around, you know, it's kind of like watered down coffee? This is good stuff. This is John Wayne coffee. Coffee and pie all day long. So what you, you guys got? Rhubarb? Lovely. Okay. Wait. Apple pie? Nice. And what did you guys get? And the coconut cream. Oh, are you kidding? Look at that. They're just like barrels of coconut in that. Look oh. at that thing. Can't beat it. Well, anyway. This is the place. It truly is. When you're coming through Orderville, you gotta you gotta stop here. So just remember, there is thank you all by the way. You guys were thank awesome. you, particularly Ed, for for your hospitality and getting us out here on the trail today. And, and these guys all the way from Tremont came out here. How fun is that? Yeah, this isn't just a locals ride. So no remember way. there is adventure around every bend. You just gotta get out there and create your own adventure. At, at your, your leisure, leisure at okay. the Thunderbird.